Good evening. This is Valerie McDowell, your writer, editor, author, book coach, and consultant. Happy, happy, happy Wednesday. It is December 27th, the last day or the last Wednesday of 2023. And this is the day, Wednesdays, that is, where we put you back at the top of your writing list. Now, I've missed a couple of Wednesdays because so much has been going on. It has been quite a year. 2023 will go down in the books as an amazing year in so many different ways, an amazing good, an amazing crazy, an amazing, oh my God, what just happened? But I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to know that not only are you here, but I'm still here too. So shout out to all that has gone on and that we have had the perseverance and the determination to keep moving forward. So I wanted to come to you tonight because one, it is the last Wednesday of the year, but also because it's right about Wednesday and I wanted to check in with you. My question tonight is, where are you and where do you want to be? Where are you? We're at the last Wednesday, we're at the last week of the month, and where do you want to be? You know, we're about to hit the clock for another year um, in just a few days. And um, so my question also is, do you need a reset? Like I just said, there's been so much that has happened this year, and I'm talking fires, wars, highs, lows, births, deaths, sickness, getting well, triumphs, overcoming, and the color purple. <laughs> For all of you who have seen that and took it to number one, which I was a fan. And so it's just been an amazing year and so much again has happened. But, you know, the fact that we are bombarded every day with lots of news, information, drama, then we can count. But sometimes we just need that reset. So as we get to the end of this year, I just have like a number of things. So I think I'm going to give you five things tonight that I was thinking about um, that. How can we do a reset? It's like, you know, we've come to this point. You know, it's been an amazing year. Like I said, a lot has happened. I started a movie project and thank shout out to all the people who helped with that Kickstarter um, campaign. We hit our goal. We actually went over. So ooh, 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 shout out to all the backers. We had 24 backers who supported us. So, you know, see what you can do. And with just 24 people supporting you. So that was a, a great goal to accomplish in this year. We also got through uh, several other books and one is just on the horizon. She's got um, her book with her publicist right now. So it'll be coming out real soon into the new year, but it's already a wrap. And so the last four books we got done in probably the last three to four months. So we've been rolling all year long. And so, um, but again, the question I, I think that's always important to ask is where are you? Where, where do you see yourself? What happened? How did you get here? And where do you want to be? That as we look at our life, and I think it's important that we do that. I'm, I'm someone who always kind of does an assessment at the end of the year, um, you know, to take stock, you know, what worked, what didn't work. So those are some of the questions I want to ask you tonight. So, um, so I've got five points that I want to share with you tonight on this last Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy last week of the year. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for just being a part of all that we've been able to accomplish this year. And so the first way we want to um, kind of think about resetting our life is to reflect, okay? Reflect. So what is it about reflection, okay? It's about looking back, you know, looking back at all you've accomplished. You've done a lot. <laughs> you have done a lot, okay? I know I've done a lot. Um, and even, you know, what you've overcome, even some mistakes. Hopefully, whatever mistakes you made, you're not going to make them again. You're like, learn that lesson, not going to do that again, you know, um, and, and those things have led you to where you are today. Like, are you better off in this period than you were last year? Are you happier? Are you more fulfilled? Have you let go of some things that were holding you back? Um, think about those things. That's what reflection is all about. Because sometimes we hold on to things, we've carried things, and it's just like, we definitely don't want to carry things into a new year that really haven't served us in this year. And that sometimes we have to make adjustments for what wasn't working or, you know, we needed to do something a little different that, you know, you haven't failed because you had to do something different and you haven't failed because you had to stop doing one thing to do something else. It's, you, you needed to make an adjustment. We do it every single day. So that's what part, uh, reflection is, is doing. It's allowing you to look, look at what worked, what didn't work, what do you need to sh shift, change or adjust as you move forward. OK, and part of that is number two, reshape. Sometimes the goals that we set out for 
um, that we set out for, things we determine to do are in the wrong order. And that really just stuck out with me as I thought about it. It was like, sometimes we, we want something, but it's out of order. <laughs> you know, think about some things you've done that were out of order. You know, um, I can think of a few things in my own life, you know, but sometimes, you know, it's, it's like you want to graduate before you take the course. You know, you, you want to get the job before you apply for it. You, you want, you know, that there, sometimes there are things that you want that you really do have to go through the process. And for all the process people who love process, <laughs> they're like, exactly. But there are many people who do not like the process. They just want to get there. They want to have the idea and be at the finish line. But we know that for all of us, it's just like, you know, even as you come into this world, there's there's a conception and then there's a birth and there's a long period in between there. So even for most things that there's the conception of an idea and then there's the birth and the fulfillment of it. It's just like this movie project. It was like that was just the first part, you know, just getting a kickstarter. But, you know, I, I've taken classes. Um, I've written drafts, you know, I've rewritten it. I had other people looked at it and helped me rewrite some more things, you know, and then even just raising this portion of funds. It's just the start. You know, it is a process like many things. And so you have to kind of reshape, you know, um, what that dream might look like, you know, because when you first start off with something, you know, you can have this perfect view of this is what I want. This is exactly how it's supposed to be. But then as you move forward, that there's some adjustments that need to be made, you know, that sometimes that seat didn't fit right. Or, you know, you got that hairstyle because it was in a magazine and it looked good on that person. But when they did it on you, you're like, it's I don't know if that works for me. <laughs> so you got to reshape some things and maybe let it fit you, fit your shape, fit your personality, fit your style. And so um, reshape is the second point that we want to talk about tonight. So again, so as we think about, you know, wh where are you, where do you want to be as we go into a new year? Um, number one is reflect, reflect on where you've been, reflect on what happened, what worked, what didn't work, what you had to adjust, what you had to let go of, what you had to start again, what you just had to just say, you know what? It's just the way it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Because one thing, as Oprah would say, one thing I know for sure, you cannot control people. You can only control yourself. You can't, you know, you, you may want to change the outcome of something, but if, if the outcome is in someone else's hands and you can't determine that, you can't. And so you have to let it go. But that doesn't mean that it may not work out later or you know, that, that you don't want the best. It's just that it's not in your hands to control. And so the sooner you let go of something that's not in your hands and work on the thing that you can fix or correct or change, then put your energy there because you waste a lot more time trying to fix and correct and do other things. You know, particularly if it's with other people, just love them. You can't control them, just love them and let it go at that. All right, that's a bonus right there. Um, number three, you know, as we think about what is it you want, what is it you want to do? Refine. Okay, number three is refine. Refining requires, okay, that's a tongue twister. Refining requires that you get specific, okay? If you are still giving vague answers when questioned about what you do, so what do you do? You know, that's such an American way of asking somebody about something. But it's like, what do you do? And you're like, well, I, um, well, you know, when, you know how you, when you, like, if you're not clear with your answer, then especially if you're a business person and, and you have a product you want to sell or you have a service that you want people to to buy you need to be clear you need to be able to rattle it off i know i had a coach it was like okay you know what's your elevator speech what is it who are you so when i say i'm valerie mcdowell writer editor author book coaching consultant i work with writing and time challenge clients helping them get their stories told their books published and their dreams fulfilled it's like that's very clear that's very direct and it's something that people can be like oh okay that makes sense. You know, now there's some other steps in that, but that's, you know, pretty clear and direct what I do. And I've helped almost 50 people write and publish their books since 2019. So that hasn't been that long. That's less than four years or just about four years now. And so being clear and specific, you know, so if you're not, sit down and ask yourself, you know, ask those questions internally to yourself and see what you come up with, you know, um, and outside of the noise, because sometimes there's a lot of noise as to what other people think you should do, what other people want you to do, what other people feel that you do best for them, you know, but is it working for you? Because we can do a thing, but it may not be the thing you love. I mean, and granted, in this world we live in, you know, there are many things you have to do just because you need a roof over your head and food. You got to feed your family and take care of certain things. But, you know, in that, you know, 
find the place where what you do is something you love. You know, is it part of the giftings inside of you? Is it um, one of the things that you do well? Um, I wrote a book called The Power to Excel um, that talked about, you know, what is it inside of you, you know, that you can pull out? Because other people recognize it. Other people see it. Do you see it? Okay, so refine. So get outside of the noise, get outside of the crowds of people pleasing and refine what you want out of life that not only benefits you, but it's gonna help somebody else because that usually is what happens when you are doing the thing that you do best. It does benefit other people because our gifts are not for ourselves. Not only, you know, they are really, the best gifts help other people. I mean, think about the people who help the most have gifts and talents that bless so many other people. You know, whether they're comedians or um, singers or actors, your mom or dad, your sibling, your friend, you know, the kid at the playground, you know, there are people who their presence, you know, I think about Trevor Noah, he's very insightful. He's, he's fluent in multiple language. He has such a worldview and a different perspective on so many things. And he really blesses a lot of people because it really makes you think and he makes you laugh at the same time, you know, and it's like, that's a gift, you know, based on his beginnings. It's like he, he never saw that coming. But he, he stuck to it. You know, he refined, reshaped some things that he was doing. And number four, he probably also refocused. So where are you today? So many times we don't get where we want to go because we are just not focused. And I can admit that there have been moments where I'm like, what are you doing? Or you get caught up doing something else and the time just flies. It's like I've committed these next two weeks to in the morning, I'm working on completing a certification. In the afternoon, I'm clearing and cleaning out my office, shredding, throwing away stuff, organizing, and I'm getting it done because I want this space and other spaces in my life you know, to be clear so I can focus because you can't make room for new things when your your current space and mind, body, rooms are full of so much other clutter. You know, we, we can't receive when we're, we're full, you know. So what is it that you need to let go of? What is it that you need to refocus? Because the thing is, when you, you learn to focus, you, you, you know, you get to know who you are, you know, what you want and how to go about getting it. When your mind is full of a lot of other things, you can't think straight. You don't have the quiet or the peace or even the breath, you know, because sometimes, you know, I realize like we don't breathe, <laughs> like we don't deep breathe. <laughs> you know, we don't just, <sighs> it's like most times people take a deep breath when they're at the doctors <laughs> or when they've just exhausted, but it's like, Inhale and exhale. It's like it helps calm you and regulate you and refocus you and let you know, breathe, <laughs> breathe. It's one of those things that we have to do that we're really, you know, that that happens, you know, unconsciously, but that sometimes we have to consciously do it because we're going, 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 and we're not just being still sometimes. So sometimes focus and refocusing requires that we be still. And sometimes by being still, you know, we get the peace, we get the quiet, we get the sensitivity, and often we get the answers, okay? So, and number five, recharge, okay? As I was just saying, I'm taking a break until about January 8th. So when I sign off here today and I've got an email going out, I'm gonna do maybe a New Year's message, but I'm taking a break, you know, for two weeks and I'm just getting my stuff together. I'm taking some time to just think about what do you want? What's happening? Where'd you go? I'm answering all these questions I'm asking you tonight. So um, one one thing I uh, encourage people to do is go away and do nothing. Like, because I, I know that doesn't work for me here, but I know that often when I travel afar, <laughs> I'll say it that way, afar, that because I can't hear anything else. I don't hear the traffic of the street. I don't hear someone calling that I know. It's like, because I usually am somewhere where most people don't know me. So I'm not worried about somebody calling my name, asking me something, requiring me something, or having to be somewhere because nobody knows me. I'm just here. And I can just sit and stare and look at the ocean or the sky or grass or sand or whatever it might be, or just people watch. Just, just you know, admire, you know, the flowers, the trees, the weather, the cold, the snow, wherever you might be. And just, you know, recharge because sometimes we just need to be still. You know, we need to just, you know, and, and particularly when you're a busy person or you have a lot of gifts and talents or there's just stuff you want to do if you don't take those breaks, you know. And again, people in other countries are very conscious to take breaks, are very conscious of 
let they they you know working they don't live to work they work to live you know and so working to live <laughs> it's a much better way than than living to work you know because there's no balance in that so finding the balance as we go into this new year you know and if you don't have time to completely shut down can you get 15 minutes you know can you take a few minutes and just one be grateful it's like god i thank you for bringing me this far you're like this is december 27 2023 tomorrow's my brother's birthday um and it's it's been a bit been a serious year on many fronts it's been lots of highs and lows lots of things you've clutched your your pearls about you know and other things that may have made you angry and other things that made you rejoice and so you know be grateful you know we got one life <laughs> make the most of it support help share give love do whatever you need to do but recharge and so that's what i have for you tonight that as we close out this last week of the year, my name is Valerie McDowell, and I work with writing and time challenged clients, helping them get their stories told, their books published, and their dreams fulfilled. And oftentimes that helps come through reflecting what is the story you want to tell? You know, how do we reshape, you know, that story so that it blesses someone else? Because a lot of times we got to get through the hurt or the anger or the pain or just the clutter of what is the story? You know, what is the story that you want to share with someone? You know, and I've had the pleasure and the honor of working with so many beautiful, amazing people who've had incredible stories. I mean, whether they're historical stories, um, funny, heartwarming things, suspense, horror, thriller, <laughs> you know, it's like I've just had the most amazing time working with um, authors who, who just have a story to tell, you know, who go into their imagination or go into their family history or just pull it out of the air, you know, that they allow the words to flow through them because they've taken time to, to figure out what it is they want to write. So where are you? Um, I've got a special out right now. It's like, are you booked for the holiday? So as we got one more holiday to go, as we transition into the new year, are you booked? Is there a story inside of you that you've been trying to get out? You know, if so, then I will put a link down below and let's see if we can get you scheduled and booked and focused and ready to get to publish in 2024. All right, so we can get started. I want to thank you for joining me this year. It's been an amazing year. Um, I love what I do and I get to do it with you. So have an amazing uh, New Year celebration and I wish you all the best and I'll see you soon. Happy New Year.